dark. You guys, I'm exhausted. I just was in traffic for like an hour um, over this wreck that I didn't understand why it was an hour back up of traffic. But I just got to Sydney. So oh, she just texted me. Oopsies. I'm coming. Sydney has just gathered me. Gathered? You guys, I my brain is literally not functioning right now. What are you doing? Hi, baby. You're going to get my clothes all hairy. Yes. Hey, can you guys say hi? Oh, oh, that's a good shot right there. Hello. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you too. Neil. Neil. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you happy to see to me? I'm you're being so nice to me, it's so cute. Sydney's um, apartment has these little rooms. So we're gonna do our workout here. You can see the skyline over there. So cute, it's really cold in here. Yeah, I gotta take some pictures of you too. <laughs> well, since we didn't record this part, I just told her we're gonna punish her by we're doing two rounds on camera for you guys. Not even being punished. We're two rounds on the camera. That's what she said. <laughs> See those abs? They start to top. See, look at that. You're perfectly engaged. View is so pretty. It's well, actually kind of gloomy and sad right now. But Sydney got some fire insta pics as well. Yeah. I had to pause our thing. Yeah, Me and Sydney took cutie pics for the IG story, Obvi. Sydney's abs are going fucking oh, crazy in this. Yeah. Look at that. Are you joking? The abs. Oh, I see. Oh, I just opened it. No, so like, fire. Oh, you guys, I feel so much energy now. It's crazy, like, how slumped I was when I got here. So we persisted through. We and we it. done. We got the job done. And now there's a Drake concert next to my apartment. 
and it's going to be hellish to get back to it. I'm I really not hear excited. it. Honestly, and also SZA tagged him in something 20 hours ago. So what if she shows up? SZA. SZA. SZA tags Champagne Poppy. Okay. The traffic for the Drake concert wasn't actually that bad. I'm wondering if it's because it hasn't started yet. Or, I don't know. And I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing for dinner as well. At all. Ugh, I'm like, should I just go ahead and record the podcast episode then eat? Well, the only reason I want to get it over with is because my roommate's at dinner right now. So it's like, I wouldn't be bothering by having her, like, not be in the living room to, like, not be able to hear on the recording. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go ahead and record the episode now. Like, let's just do it. Let's just make it happen because that one takes the most brain power. So let's just knock it out first. I completely forgot that I left my room in a disastrous state. Like, wow. Cute girl. Um, so need to also clean that up. On Sunday is the Renee rap concert. You guys, I've literally never been more excited for something in my life. Like I am obsessed with her. I just finished recording the episode. I don't know why I did that. It was 33 minutes long, probably 30 with me editing things out, but I did it guys. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how it went. Like I think it went good, but it was unorganized as shit. I gotta be honest. I wasn't very good about doing an outline i kind of just winged it uh whatever you know it, it, it'll be how it is but i recorded it i did it i talked for 30 minutes straight <laughs> i'm parched i still don't know what i'm gonna eat but i checked one thing off the freaking list let's go and it's not even eight o'clock yet reactivate my presence on my semi-responsible instagram as well i need to do a lot of things that's just kind of my constant state is, oh my God, I need to do a lot of things to like make my dream life happen, bitch. She's on the way. The dream life's on the way. Actually, I'm already living it, okay? That's what the manifestation thing says to do, right? Uh, basically pretend you're already living it. That's kind of what uh, made me want to vlog this weekend and do the podcast. It's like, if I want to be a podcaster and a YouTuber and have an audience, then I have to like do that. Like, I'm making a YouTube video and I'm recording a podcast episode. Like those are steps closer to building that audience and getting where I want to be and making money full time off of it. Okay. It just takes time and I'm okay with that. Y'all, new episode of Real Housewives of Orange County. Season is so freaking good. Okay, I'm gonna come back when I have my food because I just can't be bothered to film me picking it out because I don't know. Anyways, I'm watching the new episode while I make my food. I'm cracking this open, I guess. I think I'm just gonna take a spoon to it. I haven't tried it yet, I have to, I have to open it. Is this a fork or a spoon food? Potato salad? I feel like it's a spoon, but I'm doing a fork. Okay, taste test, double deck potato salad. That is good. Target. Hard cooked eggs and creamy dressing. Next part of my girl dinner is salt and vinegar chips. I've had so many carbs today, but I really don't care. I did a workout, I deserve it, okay? This is stupid. Like, I don't even know why I'm anxious about this because nothing's happening. So, Renee Rapp just posted that she has like meet and greet tickets. They're like $127. And I already have my other ticket and there's no way to like just add the addition of it. And with fees, it would be like 160. Like I don't want to spend that much, but like I would get a picture with her and it'd be so iconic and I'd like get to meet her. But so like, I'm just like anxious about like what to do in that situation. I genuinely don't know what to do. Like I'm obsessed with this bitch. Like I'm not even joking. Also like I just got so tired. It really hit me. And I, <laughs> why is the vibe shift so much? Why did this stress me out so bad? Don't understand. I'm probably not gonna do it. Um, I don't have the funds for it right now, honestly. And I need to just admire her from afar, I guess. I don't know. But I literally had potato salad and potato chips for dinner, okay? Like, I'm just really low effort right now. My room's up. Freaking mess. I have to wash my hair, but now I'm like kind of want to push that to the morning. I just want to go to sleep. Damn, it's almost 9 p.m. Guys, I might be lazy. Oop. Like, I'm just such a big sleep person. Like, I prioritize my sleep so heavily. 
and I'm just like exhausted after today. But I wanted to, ugh, guys, I just, I just got so tired and then that happened. And now I'm like stressed out. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this? I don't know. I'm not stressed out. I'm in a great mood. Everything's fine. Um, I'm gonna finish this episode of Housewives. I also like feel since I'm vlogging, I have to be productive or like I have to show me doing cool things, I guess. But at the same time, I really just wanna go to sleep in, in my messy room and worry about it all tomorrow. Kind of my favorite thing to do, I think. Cause there's not enough hours in the day to do all the things and and get a good night's rest. Okay, can I get can I get my energy up? I need to like I need to move around or do something because I don't like the way I'm like down right now. I already hate the sentence that's about to come out of my mouth, but I made a couple TikToks and I feel better. I really do. I really feel better after making a couple TikToks. And you you know what? Here's my this is what okay, holy shit. I just looked at my like my room is so bad right now, you guys. This is like really bad. It's really bad um so i had the realization that maybe i have too much of a parasocial relationship with renee rap like you know what i mean where you feel like you know someone and they they don't know who you are obviously um so that's why i shouldn't do the meet and greet because it's just gonna it's gonna trigger my parasocial relationship that i have with her but i've also like you guys i've never been this um Obsessed with a celebrity since Vanessa Hudgens in the High School Musical days, I swear to God. So I'm just telling myself that I can't handle the parasocial relationship with her. And you know what? I posted a TikTok about it. Maybe she'll see it and be like, you deserve a free ticket. That is a possibility. Uh, maybe someone will Venmo me. Like, you know what? The, the, until the concert has happened and ended, I won't know if maybe I get to meet her or see her. Like, at least I'll get to see her in the flesh that's lit overall so that's kind of how i'm taking it if i end up meeting her from someone else making it happen or the universe making it happen that's my vibe yes i am in my pajamas editing this video right now but guys the universe really did answer my freaking prayers and this is foreshadowing because renee rap freaking reposted my tiktok that i made insert here onto her Instagram story and liked it on TikTok and reposted it on TikTok and literally made my entire freaking life. I didn't even want to wait till the end of this video because it's literally the very end of the video that is the concert. So if you're just wanting to watch that part, it's at the very end of the video. I can't even tell you how happy it made me that she reposted me on her story. Like there is no other feeling I could have to describe it. It was just amazing literally the main thing that i wanted out of like the meet and greet was like i really wanted her to see my shirt i was like i loved my outfit for the concert and i was so excited for her to possibly like see that and like see me and she saw me i didn't get to hug her i didn't get a picture with her like it was on her instagram for 24 hours okay that is a long time longer than like one hug okay or in one picture and one like hey how are you it was just different. But I do feel, I literally made a TikTok talking about my estranged anxiety and why I don't know why it's happening. And I feel a lot better after talking about it. Plus, talking to the camera. Okay, you can hear like the people above me shower. Guys, I am like super sporadic right now, but I'm tired. But I'm talking so fast. Well, I think I'm about to end off the vlog for the night because there's nothing happening that's really exciting. I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, put on some PJs. Here's the thing, is I could, like, this part is not dirty. This part is dirty. And so I'm like, do I want to do a slicked back style for tomorrow? Because like my dress is kind of a lot. The universe is telling me not to wash my hair by making me tired, right? So maybe that is the vibe. I'm so excited to show you guys my outfit. Hopefully it's like not weird to vlog. At least I'll try to get stuff on my phone at the event. Guys, what am I, I'm literally talking so much. I thought I was supposed to be tired, but I am. Do I look crazy in this? I don't know. I think I'm totally shifting the vibe of my um, TikTok and YouTube presence to like say what I'm legitimately thinking. Cause I feel like in the past 
I have held it in a little bit and like not said weird things or acted like myself uh, because I was afraid to like be too much. Um, never too much. All right, good night and I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning guys, happy Friday. I'm about to go on my walk at 7.30 right now. Probably go on a 30, 35 minute or um, and then come back and shower. I decided I'm not washing my hair. I just can't do it right now. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow morning, I think. Much better timing for me. <laughs> these towels gonna put them up hop in the shower um make some breakfast which are probably just gonna be an apple with my breakfast. So as you can see, apples, peanut butter, honey, and cinnamon. How cute is this mug that my roommate got for me? She got one for herself, but it broke, um, really sad. Hi guys, I am done with work for the day. I have all of my things packed up and ready to go. I'm about to head over to Sydney's house. We're gonna grab an early dinner. Um, I'm actually really not even sure. I know it's an opening party for I think a social agency. Um, a friend of Sydney's, uh, someone that sits, Sydney knows that I'm her plus one, but I'll have more details and I'll ask her later. But here's the dress. I'm so excited to wear it. I've never worn it before. I've had it forever and it never fit and now it does. And then my little bag, she's so cute. Obviously I'll show you guys the full outfit when we're ready, but let's go. He looks, his tail is like up. Are you cute? Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Just got to Sydney's place. She's finishing up work. And then we're gonna go grab dinner. What are you? You're so cute. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? That is, yep. You're an awkward man. But I love it. And I've decided I'm getting some fire ass insta pics tonight. Like, must. It's a requirement for me. We have allotted plenty of time for TikToks and pictures. So, there's no excuse. Casual cutie. These are my favorite little uh, Kate Spade heels that I got from Uptown Cheapskate. Windsor jeans. I randomly got these off of someone's recommendation like, a, like years ago. And top is... What is this? Oh, addicted. Top is addicted. Little slit sides. First time I've worn it. But you call that place? I always call it like edited. No. <laughs> addicted. Oh my gosh, these pants. Oh, they kind of give you an ass. <laughs> oh, booty's bootying. You can't really tell because it's kind of dark. Okay. But yeah, cute. All right, I already said where my fit was from, but I did fix my hair a little bit. Oh. I guess I didn't show the bag, which I got at Buffalo Exchange in, I think, Portland or Seattle. I think it was Portland, though. I'm wearing these new pants I got from Target. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that detailing. Target is stepping it up. These are really cute. And just wearing a normal, regular tank top that I got from Zara and heels and my new bag. Yep, fit check. Hey, let's go! Oh, you're driving, right? Yes. Oh, perfect. Virgin mojitos as well. Cheers, girl. <laughs> Clean it up a little bit. <laughs> Cheers. Just had on our bar. It was so good. That salad was literally the best salad I've ever had in my entire life. That part. Did you say so that good. part? I'm sorry, guys. This is just really so funny because I've never heard Sydney in a serious way say that part, and it had me dead. You can literally see my reaction go. Did you just say that part? I can't. And then we just continued. 
Yeah. Oh, and originally, whenever we were walking, Sydney um, did not know where we were going, so we actually walked the entire perimeter of this place, but we made it. Now we're going back. All right, I'm about to do my hair. As I said, it's a grease ball already, but I'm about to throw some ultra glued gel in it to get all these baby hairs up. I'm gonna get really frustrated in this process. But we're gonna put a little bit more. I am honestly, I want my hair to be like a shell. <laughs> I like whatever. I like when I can feel the uh, the hardness. Definitely gonna have to wash my hair tomorrow. There's no getting out of that one. But she is slicked back. All right, I'm gonna give y'all a quick rundown of my makeup as I do it. This is my current makeup routine. Um, I already put on my foundation, but I do the makeup by Mario in shade 9W. I don't know, it's super glowy and just, I don't know, I think if you have oily skin, it probably isn't the best, but I have like dry, moderate dry oily. Um, more leaning on the dry side and I have been using it for months and I really really like it so that's step one all right for concealer <laughs> Neo you're making me laugh <laughs> what are you do, do you want to sniff it okay he wants to be included I think um, Kosa's concealer I don't know what shade I got it in the <laughs> Check out line at Sephora because they get you like that. They really do get you like that. What are you doing? Very cute. The way he's never in the bathroom, so I'm like really shocked he's in here. He's like right. staring at me right now. Yeah, he's like. We're bonding. Neo, you're freaking staring at me. It's actually hilarious. Merit, I'm obsessed with Merit. I love their stuff. This is clay, they're like bronzing stick. Still playing around with where to put the bronzer. I feel like I do something different each time. Merit blush in raspberry braid. This is literally my favorite blush. I feel like it's the perfect um, color for my skin. Little on the nose. Oh, I didn't mean to do that low, but whatever. Okay, gonna blend this out. Okay, Merit highlighter in shade Kava to give you a, like a light glow. It's nothing crazy. No such thing as too much blush. So I'm using this Fashion Fair little duo highlight, not highlight. Well, it's like a highlighting blush. A little goes a long way with this shit. Set the under eyes, Laura Mercier powder, translucent. I literally get the mini size and it lasts a long time. And also I always do the powder around like my mouth and my nose creases as well. And my, um, the middle of my eyebrows. Final step, I don't usually wear mascara but I feel like I need to. Um, Lancome LE8 Hypnose. I don't know, I got it because it was fancy and my mom bought it for me so that's why, why I got it. I literally hate putting on mascara. It's like the worst thing ever. Oh, this is the Tarte Maracucha. Juicy lip plump. I don't know what color it is. I already took off the sticker. Here is the dress. I've had it for so long and I'm finally wearing it today. I am in love with it. I think there's just something that I'm just not super in love with right now, but we'll figure it out. But it's cute. I'm just playing around with my shirt. I think that's just what it is. I'm gonna have to keep playing around with it. The hoops, the hoops need a moment. Wait, why are you filming it like that? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have <laughs> The hoops. That's okay. The hoops are a moment. I got these from Amazon. Here's the fit. Top is Zara, bottom is Zara. Shoes, got these, I don't know when. Bag is the bag from earlier from Amazon. Can you explain where we're going? Cause I'm just the plus one. Yes, okay. Through a friend, not through a friend, a friend. Um, she just opened her own social agency. That's my new mirror and my dog. Um, she just opened up a new marketing agency. She does everything from like web de website design, logo design, branding, all of that jazz. So she is launching, I think they opened September 1st officially. We're gonna network, we're gonna be ourselves. The craziest thing is like we're not drinking, so we're truly gonna be able to like 
be, be the present. Be present. How do y'all feel about this sexy moment? They can't ask yet. Cute. <laughs> I made the rookie mistake of not bringing other clothes to change into, um, but I'm about to head back to my house. I have a headache. It's only midnight right now. I need sleep and to take off this makeup. Just like to do nothing. What a great, what a great Friday night. As we were leaving, it was like turning into club vibes, which as I'm not drinking right now, I'm like, I feel like that was one of my first moments I was kind of like, damn, this sucks, like not drinking. Well, not one of my first moments, but you know, usually I would be going out. So kind of weird to not, but I want nothing more than to lay in my bed right now. So I'm kind of okay with that. Hey friends, good morning. It is 11 a.m. It is Saturday. I just did, well, let me check my Nike. 3.81 miles on the trail, feeling great. Um, I do need to shower and actually wash my hair now. We're actually doing that, okay. And then me and Sydney are getting Taco Deli, which I'm so excited about. Oh, I'm literally still out of breath from going upstairs. Okay, I literally have an hour to wash and blow dry my hair. Can I do it? Yes, I can. So, oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna have time to eat breakfast. This morning has gone by so fast. I slept in until like 9.30, which for me is pretty late. Also, the weather is so freaking nice today. It's literally like 75, 80 degrees, which for the weather we've been having in Texas is like amazing. It's 11.45 and I did the damn thing, you guys. This is impressive for me. To fully shower and blow dry my hair in less than an hour. Granted, I just like need to straighten it still. But now, me and Sydney are going to Taco Deli. She's never had it before. And I'm really excited for her to try. We've been waiting like weeks for this moment. Can't wait for her to discover the best tacos on the planet. <laughs> Sydney's gonna give her review because she's a first timer. So what'd you think? It was very good. I really liked it. I wish I would have gotten two breakfast tacos, but I had to try something because I knew I was gonna like the breakfast taco. Yes. So I tried a pork one and it was really good. I just wasn't in the mood for it, you know? Yeah. So next time, two breakfast tacos. Bacon, egg, and cheese, not sausage, egg, and cheese. I get the sausage, egg, and cheese. It's my favorite, but you know, to each their own. So now we're going back to our apartment and I think our friends are gonna come over to watch the OU game. Oh my God, I'm so excited to watch some football. How exciting. Happy football season, guys. We've got the football going on the TV. I wanted to update everybody that we do have a lampshade for this little teapot lamp. I thrifted it forever ago and haven't been able to find. This looks so cool right now. Like the way that it looks in the camera glowing is it's absurd how good it looks. Our little fun corner, how cute. I think people will be over within like 30 minutes to an hour or so, but just chilling for now. Okay. I'm zooming in on it. You can be in it. Do what you need to do. It's just the cookies. Ooh. It actually looks pretty cinematic. Ooh. I'm gonna them all. Can I have one to eat? Me. <laughs> Ooh, yes. God, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Those are gonna be big cookies. Well, I know. I should probably not make a pan. Mmm. Whoa, they are huge. <laughs> So much cookie. Oh God, it's halftime now, so now I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup, nothing crazy. I got dressed, literally. Okay, like ignore all my clothes, you guys. I still have not cleaned my room. 
it's really bad but i've just like been busy and out and about and i don't want to do it it's a later problem it's not a right now problem it is stressing me out but the living room is clean so it doesn't count and it won't take me too long to get ready so i can avoid it as much as possible and push that task on to probably tomorrow morning my mom and my sister are gonna pick me up and we're gonna go to dinner i think we're going to stir I, not I think we are I made the reservation we're going to stir in deep Elm and then walking over to the concert which I don't know if I brought up what the concert is it's literally like my mom's friends last time playing with this band or something I literally have no idea I'm just going for the plot and I think it'll be fun the blush is blushing but it'll come off a little bit and then straightened the hair a little bit earlier what all right, y'all, we've made it to Deep Elm, just parked, and now going to the restaurant. Morning guys, it is officially Renee Rap Day. I'm so excited. I literally slept in until like 11 a.m., which I don't know the last time I've done that. I didn't fall asleep till like three. I was up watching TikToks. I'm about to go on my walk on the trail, then I'll come back, eat something. I will actually clean my room now. I've been meaning to do that. Hi friends, I just got done with my walk. It's like 80 degrees outside, so it feels really nice, but I'm still low-key sweating a little bit. I set my East Hampton Sandwich Co. pickup. And now we're cool. Everything looks good on paper. Display it on the shelf. Oh my god. I'm so excited! Renee Rev, holy shit! I have secured the sandwich, the sweet potato fries. You can't tell because there's literally no label on it. But here's my order. It's a can't read it classic with ham and the brioche bun extra sauce i think it's like literally mayo no tomatoes and sweet potato fries i've been jamming to renee rap all morning obviously because her concert is tonight so i'm just gonna listen to her music literally all day and then to get ready and then also to listen to it live so if you can't tell, I am so freaking excited. Although I am kind of worried about the time for cleaning my room and getting ready. But we're gonna do it. We're actually gonna do it. I need to actually do it. It's it's really bad. I don't even know if I wanna show you guys how bad it is. I think I might just show you the after. But let's get home and devour this. This is everything I have dreamed of and more. Now all I'm missing is a fun beverage. These Remedy kombuchas are so freaking good. They sell them like a lot of places, but the raspberry lemonade flavor is my fave. And I don't know how much sugar. There's no sugar, no sugar for real. <laughs> 10 calories a can, highly recommend. I have an update. I can now show the floor of my room, which is very exciting. Let me pause the TV. I'm watching the new episode of Real Housewives Salt Lake City. Loving this season, it's so good. I actually am watching like all of the Real Housewives that are out right now. I think it's, what am I watching? Orange County, New York, Salt Lake City. I think those are the only ones that have episodes streaming right now. Oh my God, when Potomac is back, like when is Potomac coming back? I literally need it in my life. So I made this shirt. It's my Jordan year. It's my Jordan year. Off of Renee's song 23. And I'm 23 and my name is Jordan. It's my Jordan year. I had to do it. I literally got like little stencils and fabric paint and just made it myself. I have this skirt. I've literally had this since sorority recruitment in like 2019 or 2020. I think it was actually 2020. Um, pop poster girl. I have no idea where this is from, but it's so cute. It's like a sparkly um, flame skirt and it's a look. I love Renee Rapp so much. 
I just cannot wait to be in the same room as her. I've been seeing TikToks come up on my For You page of her concert and I literally refuse to watch them. I keep swiping past them. Literally watching Renee's Terrell show interview. I've seen a ton of clips on TikTok but haven't actually watched it while I'm getting ready. But we just did two little braid things. This is the fit on. I don't know if I should wear a bra or not because like it's kind of pushing it with the boobs a little bit. It depends like the lighting and the temperature. <laughs> All right, girls. Here's the final look. Obviously, I feel like you've, I've showed you like five times. Oh, and then the puss. It's like literally ripping. I'm about to go to Grace's house and then me her and her boyfriend are gonna Uber over, have dinner nearby and then go to the venue a little bit early see how close we can get. I think they're almost here. Two minutes away. And oh, whoa. But it was great vibes, great time. Time of my life. I sang a lot. You guys, my heart is racing right now. Renee Rapp liked my video on TikTok. Bro, this is the best day of my life. Like, I don't think you understand, Sydney. You guys, my heart, my heart is like jumping out of its chest right now. She liked my TikTok of the It's My Jordan year. She saw my face. 